Hello friends and welcome back for episode 41 of our Rogue Legacy Let's Play. Here we go again for another chance at hopefully finding some more armor. I will recap just very quickly here. We have very, very little left to find. Swords are all there. Uh, missing one helmet, missing two armor, missing none of the legs, or limbs I guess we call those, and missing two capes. Uh, and the only one that I'm starting to get concerned about is this one right here, which is, what is that, the sage set? Yeah, the sage uh, chest. Uh, we need the blueprint for, and that one is so far behind us now, it started sort of starting to scare me a little bit, because it's like, what if we've passed it by and we can never get it again? I doubt that's the case, that would be really silly in terms of gameplay for that to happen. And as you can see here, we've got very little left to buy. I don't want to recap you for too long, I'm sure you know what's up. If you've been watching the series, I do recap quite a bit now. So let's just run into the castle. We've got another barbarian king. Uh, Sir Wizerl, I believe was his name, and he's a, a farter, as you'll probably notice pretty quickly. Uh, we did open up that boss door. We are not going to use it, however, at least for now, as we continue our search for the little bit of equipment that's left. And in the process, of course, looking for ever more gold, because we can never quench our thirst for gold, as it seems. Uh, so moving on, we are going to clear out the castle. We're probably going to clear out... I'll just go in order this time, why not? I wanted to do it in, like, a weird order and go to the darkness area, but I, I feel like as much as that's cool to do, it also sort of opens me up for just shortening the length of the run, if possible. Uh, because I don't always... well, not if possible, I just don't want to do that. But, uh... Oh, what can I do about this situation? I don't have a way to... Oh, I could probably foos through these, right? I think that's how I'm supposed to do it. Foos! Poos. All right, awesome. That's what we needed. All right, another 5 HP. Stack onto the ever-increasing massive life bar that we've got going on up here in the top. Anyway, I feel like I was going off on a tangent there, and then I just sort of forgot what I was saying, so... Whatever, I'm sure it's not that important. I ramble. Yes, I know, I do it. I've been accused of such things in the comments. I know, I do it. It's just, I think it's part of who I am. It's just, uh... One of my quirks. We all have our own little things, right? And I think probably if you listen to anybody speak at length in monologue form, they're gonna have to ramble. I mean, especially when you've gone on uh, on the same topic now. I mean, this is 41 episodes of Rogue Legacy. We've covered basically everything convention-wise that there is to cover about the game. So really, if I don't start to ramble every now and then, I mean, what am I gonna talk about? You want me to do play-by-play -play for every single moment? I mean, I can do that, and I've done that to some degree, but I kind of want to mix things up occasionally. It just starts to get boring talking about, oh, I found another star shooting angry stuff at me. And shoot him, kill him, get some more gold. And it is literally, like, raining gold on us most of the time, so if you just listen, you know a little of the comforting tinkle-tinkle of the, uh, the gold landing in my coffers, and I know, out of context, that is going to be the silliest statement of all time. Uh, the comforting tinkle-tinkle. There you go, enjoy. Well, my knight farts all over the castle in the background. Things are getting real silly today. That's all right. We can we can handle it. So let me tell you about the fact that I have just recently discovered how these Steam trading cards work and why it is that people are so obsessed with them. And I'm sure some of you out there already know uh, well over exactly how this situation works. But for those of you out there who may have been somewhat disengaged with them or may have not really caught on or even noticed the fact that they're there, uh, which was kind of me for a while, I didn't really... I didn't understand the point of why we should care about unlocking more little pictures. You know, I've had uh, Xbox 360 games for ages now, so I understand how achievements work. But I, I thought, kind of, that the trading card system was just more like achievements. Just, you unlock them and then you can, like, craft them into other stuff. But I didn't get what they did, essentially, is over time, just by, I guess, idling in specific games or playing them. I think they want you to play them, but I think you can get the cards by idling with the games open. You'll occasionally get, like, a certain amount of cards that will just drop and, like, show up in your inventory, in your Steam inventory after a while. And, uh, you can only collect, I think, like, half of the total set of whatever game's, uh, allocated cards are. Sounded like I just said cards are. Uh, and then you'd have to trade with your friends or the general public to get the rest, and when you get all of them, then you can combine the cards together to form, uh, various, you know, items like emotes, uh, backgrounds, I don't know, things like that. Uh, badges, I think the ba- is it that you make badges and then the badges craft into the- there might be multiple tiers to it. But anyway, the point of me saying this is that I didn't really understand that the- I think the primary force that's making people so totally batshit crazy over the Steam trading cards is that there's a little button that says sell, like next to every card you unlock, and if you go in there and you click that button it opens up this little, like, economy graph 
that allows you to see exactly what the going rate for one of those cards is on the, the Steam store. And you can actually, with just a couple clicks of a button, just go ahead and put it on sale, and I assume if somebody buys it for whatever you put it up for, you, like, literally get credited that amount of money to your Steam account, which you can then basically buy games with. So it's kind of a way of encouraging people to uh, get more Steam games for free over a long period of time. I mean, we're not talking about a lot of money here. You're probably going to make, like, uh, 25 cents per card if you're lucky, although there are certain cards... Uh, that have had a very, very high value to them for whatever reason, or, you know, various reasons that they're trending. Uh, maybe the emote that is associated with them is particularly popular, something like that. But it's kind of allowing you to generate money at the expense of other people paying for stuff, which is it's an interesting proposition, uh, because it's opt-in. Like, you don't have to do any of this stuff if you don't want to, so there's not really any reason to be upset about it. And it's generating free money for people who decide to take the time to bother, like, farming for them and looking for them. Or you could just be a collector and just forego the sales part of it entirely. So there's actually quite a bit of versatility to it, and I think it's probably kind of a genius move on their behalf, because it's allowing all of this stuff to take place rather seamlessly. And it's also encouraging people to uh, customize their, you know, their accounts, to care more about what it is that's going on on Steam. Because I think, if anything, part of the reason that Xbox was so success successful is because it really did emphasize uh, some, like, competitive collection and play between players. Because uh, they could so easily open up their account, see what games they had. I mean, you could do that already with Steam, but now there's a bit of customization going into it. And you'll become a little bit more invested with your Steam account instead of just looking at it like a way to get games and, you know, a purveyor of goods, so to speak. So, I mean, I, on pretty much all accounts, I think it's probably a positive thing, but there is also that little bit of a scummy element now that it's like, all right, so now we're associating money uh, with these sort of intangible goods and products, which really come down to just a bunch of pixels. Like, you're just paying for art, if that's what you care about. I mean, you're not really. The commodity is more what you assign value to it of, or in, uh, that is the weirdest way I could have phrased that sentence. The commodity is what you value it as, I think is what I was trying to say. So, I mean, it is completely subjective. Uh, there is basically no objective value that you could assign to a, a stack of pixels like that. So there's not really a problem in it, yet there is still pr a part of me that sees it as a little bit scummy. I don't know. I, again, it's still something I'm sort of making up my mind on exactly how I feel about, but probably more positive than negative? I don't know. I'm not compelled, really, in any meaningful way to try and collect them, but there is part of me that gets it now on a level that I didn't before. I thought it was just about people wanting to hoard cards, like, just because of pictures or because of achievements. Like, I didn't understand that the money element was a thing going on as well. But then once I know that's the element, I'm not sure if it's better or worse, so... <laughs> Hopefully you get what I'm trying to talk at here. So, uh, let's... Let's get back into some Rogue Legacy. We've got our, our farting wizard, wizor, what are, wizerl? Wizerl. The fourth. Uh, which we are going to make our way down further into the castle. I mean, we're at 31,000 gold already, and we've only just begun. I will refrain from singing the song again. I'm sure I've done it fairly recently. Excuse me. And, uh, let's see, what's to our left? I almost just landed right on those spikes. Didn't need that potion. Probably didn't need that chicken leg as much either, but, you know, I took it anyway. Uh, down here, you know, it's it's a really bad place to live, but, you know, there's a lot of gold to be found, so I guess we could hang out down here for a minute. You know what? No, screw that. I don't want to hang out down here. This place sucks. I want to go uh, somewhere better. Let's go over here, where there's better chance of me not draining out my health bar. Health bar. Did I just say health? We're not speaking German right now. Alright, over here... And even if I was speaking German, that's still not the word for health. Um, painting, there you are. Still don't get knocked back by the paintings, or they don't get knocked back. You'd think I would understand. Probably be foosing a little bit more on the regular. Gotta get my foosing down. I really didn't need to take a hit there. Uh, no chest on this side, but we do have a room for once. Oh, and a mimic, of course. Alright, this is not turning out to be- Oh my god, you just wasted all that gold, you stupid thing. Well, that's kind of frustrating. And another painting, and probably another mimic, yup. Holy garbage, I don't even want to be in the Maya either, apparently. And is this going to be yet another mimic? No, that one's actually for real. 
I guess every now and then, just by random chance, you gotta run into a real enemy, right? Or a real chest, I mean. And Mimic, you're still hopping around like a crazy thing. There we go. 4,200, 42,000 gold. I don't know why I say 100 so often. Uh, up here, we have got a couple of Oregon Flargan. Oh yeah, I should check out what my uh, knives are doing now as damage. 141, 121 rather, that's uh, not bad. I guess it's better than it was. Just so gonna put a whole bunch more into magic damage and see how that does. Certainly am looking forward to the day when I can uh, just rock out a spell sword with a flame wall spell and just have enough magic that I can just run through everything essentially, just hitting things all willy-nilly. Willy-vanilly, if you will. e vanilly Big Willy style. What am I talking about? Alright, so we've got, uh, more flying garbage. But more gold as a result. No problems there. Those guard boxes really don't have a very good defense when I find myself below them. They're the, uh, the Daleks of the Rogue Legacy universe, I suppose. Although, actually, I thought at first Daleks were, like, pretty weak. Until I understood, like, they can fly and stuff. Kinda makes them a little bit of a different situation. I figured, like, oh, well, Daleks are real tough and all, but then you give them, like, a, a steep uh, flight of stairs, and they just tumble down them and then can't get back up again. I still sort of wonder, though, like, if they found themselves in a position where they couldn't rotate sideways, like, if you turned them on their side or something, are they, like, a turtle? Probably not. I'm pretty sure there's some sort of way that they have out of it. They're such a warlike race, you'd think they would have thought of that. You know, the uh, generations of war will round a uh, species down like that and be able to accommodate pretty much whatever uh, tortures another race could, you know, put on them. I'm like, talking about the, the mobility of the Daleks. This is the strangest topics I ever go off on. Alright, that painting, I expected it to want to come to life and kill me. Oh man, this is getting to be a little bit rough. There's too many projectiles. I gotta get out of here. I mean, there is a chest in there. I'm curious, but I'm not that curious. Let's go... Oh, I don't have a map either. Let's go over here. Anything... Take no damage. Alright, maybe I can pull this off. No, I cannot. Alright, well, I thought I could fly over the entire distance of that. Tis not the case. Uh, let's go back to the forest or something, or not back to, I haven't been there yet, but back to the castle, then the forest. Oh, I kind of want to fight this guy, though. Can I just keep him st uh, stunlocked? No. No, this guy does not like being stunlocked. It's not his way. Alright, well, we still killed him, I have eight life left. Hey! Dark cape. Alright, well, that's one piece of equipment. Uh, at least one less thing to find. Unfortunately, still not the sage equipment that I was looking for, but better than nothing. And we're almost at 60k gold, which, again, better than nothing. We're certainly not, you know, making uh, the runs look easy as much anymore, but we're still uh, making some progress, little by little. What's going on here? Oh, it's just a journal. I was wondering why it was question marked out like that on the map. And in here, this could be the death of me. Uh, oh, well, foost at the last second. Oh, man! Get the gold! Get get out of there! Foos again! Alright, I really am shocked that I lived through that room. Note the irony of me finishing that statement. Regardless, I got all the gold. That's all I care about, right? I've got an assassin, we've got archmage, paladin. We've got archmage, lich king, spell sword. Um, who do I do? Who do I go with here? Lich king... Alright, Lich King it is. Got Flame Wall, so I can't complain too much about that. Uh, let's go check out the stats on this. This cape that we just picked up, the Dark Cape. Alright, I should kind of know what these stats are going to be, given that I've had other pieces of equipment in the same set. Should give you a set bonus, too, if you wear all the same one. I don't think it does that. Uh, I don't know why I'm messing around in here. Let's just go spend all our money, like we always do. Uh, what did I do before? Did I just spend a whole bunch on magic damage up? Might as well. And it's gone before you know it. Alright, that put us at 6,000, which is just enough to, I believe, buy our last sword. Pretty badass looking sword, if I might say. Vampirism, Siphon, Air Dash. I'm pretty sure there's a sweet way that I can combine all this stuff and get exactly what I was looking at. I, I can't wait to do these challenge runs. I'm very excited to see 
what kind of exploitive behaviors I can come up with, and then how that might benefit people starting out the game uh, from a fresh run. You know, with the knowledge that there are certain things you can find that are going to be able to greatly uh, speed up your abilities if you put them in combination with each other. I feel like a, like a, I almost said a Dark Souls, like a Rogue Legacy Mad Scientist when I'm thinking about that stuff. Alright, so I want to, again, play the Lich properly. Uh, the way to do that is to kill lots of stuff, get my HP max total to go up, hopefully not take lots of hits, and then roll that into my MP, I believe. Uh, I'm probably just gonna do that to a point until I eventually just get to an HP cap and then forget to roll things over and just stay that way. I don't know, I'm a fairly predictable person in that respect that I will forget the proper operation of that character. No jumping! I can't no jump. I have to jump. I have flame wall. It doesn't help me. Uh, Lich, you roll my magic. Oh man, that sucks. Now, what can I do with this? Is there a way that? Oh, I've always wondered what happens if I go over there. Nothing apparently. Is there a way that I can use my flame wall? I think that used to be ten daggers. Oh, okay. I can't really do that anyway. There used to be a way that you could, uh, just, like, roll into the, the axe world with the flame wall going, and then just hopefully, like, take out all the targets. Alright, that worked. That did not. It slowed down like a big old jerk. There we go. That one hit. Nope, too high. Ah, oh, come on. I am not good at this challenge at all. Last dagger, I definitely can do it. Couldn't even hit eight targets. What did I hit? Was that seven? I wasn't really counting how many daggers I had versus how many targets there were. I just saw that little thing at the bottom that showed two left, so I thought maybe... I don't know if it was showing the amount that I needed to win or the amount that there were in total. Anyway, so let's make our way back up. And to the right. Not holding out huge hope for this run, sadly. I mean, the Lich is not a bad class, but at this point it's just sort of like obsolete with what I can do with the other classes. I should probably just be using my Flame Wall. Oh, not like that. Oh, jeez, what have I done? I have my health twice when I thought I was hitting the wrong button there. pile of gold. Well, if I can just get like 10,000 gold, I'll be satisfied and then we can die and move on. The amount that you gain per kill as far as your max HP cap, I don't think it really is quite justified at this stage in the game. I don't think it really makes a lot of sense. It should probably increase uh, with the New Game Plusness of it, like there should be a scaling for that as well. I should probably be gaining like 20 HP per kill or something, maybe that's a little excessive, but what am I gaining now, like 4? Four? 4, yeah, 4 is not really acceptable at this point. I need to get my HP up to a very, very high level very quickly, and then just starting at a high level, uh, comparatively, I don't think makes up for it. Well, the gold is so worth it. That's what I'm gonna keep telling myself anyway. So I'm probably about one hit away from death already. Alright, well, uh, no, okay, maybe two. And that would be it. That went quickly. Sir Jacoby III, slain by a planky. It's not a glorious life. Uh, what do I have here? Lich Queen, Spell Sword, Dragon, oh, Barbarian Queen, Barbarian King, and Hokage. Uh, bald, Endomorph. I'll take normal size, it's fine with me. Alright, so this is probably the most pathetic run I've had in a while. Should I just spend it on... Yeah, I'll just spend it on one Death Defy. Those are now 14,000. Wow. My goodness. It makes such a huge difference when you actually end up using it. You usually just die again in the same room. Alright, let's do it. Let's make a real good run out of this one. Well, so far so bad. There was uh, one piece of gold and a chicken leg in that one. I always think it's a kind of a good omen to start the runoff with, like, each statue and each thing that you break gives you a gold piece. Not that I believe in superstition or anything, just sort of funny. It gives you good vibrations, you know, good, uh, good vibes. 
Saying good vibration sounds so much more, uh, like, innuendo than saying good vibes. Not sure why. Is the fact that you took the time to say the whole word? Could be. Wow, these guys still take three shots, huh? What happens if I put, like, a bunch more grace runes on? Will this just become so easy that I, I won't even, like, break a sweat getting through the whole castle? Defeat all enemies, I have a shock room. Okay, maybe I can pull this off now, because I had the same room... Oh, no. Okay, this ceiling does not go high enough, does it? I had a similar room set up in the forest, and a uh, commenter let me know that I could have done this, and then followed it back over, but it doesn't get high enough to hit that one at the top, and I think the one in the forest had a slightly higher ceiling, if I remember. Still in the castle, everything's fine. Let's go over here. Need more gold! I don't think there's a whole lot I could really do to raise... Oh, okay, we can probably do this. There we go. Armor increase plus two. Uh, the only things I could really do to raise my gold find at this point would be to, like, play as Spelunker or wear the gold find uh, sage set. Which, I want to do all of those things, just I'm going to do it when I have all the set, you know? I want to make sure I get it to the maximum capacity that I can possibly get it to, and I'm sure there are... well, there's still the one more grace rune that I can switch for a gold find rune. I like this, killing these guys and getting gold out of them. Makes me feel not so bad for taking stupid hits. So what happens to the skeletons as I get further into New Game Plus World? Does it turn them, like, blue and then they just shoot out, like, a hundred bones each time like the mini-boss does? Sounds like a real nightmare. They should give you bullet hell mode when you uh, reach a certain level of unlocks, like as an extra added thing on your skill tree, where eventually bullet hell mode essentially would be that you would just have one single point on your character model that can take damage, like right in where the face is. You just put a little glowing dot on it, and that's the only place that the hitbox is affected. I would think that would be quite a funny little maneuver. And maybe you don't get gold for playing as that, maybe you just do it for austerity, for fun or something. Could be just a little fun quirk. You know, I really enjoyed when games used to have stuff like that, and I think the, like, the thing that typified that concept the highest were things like in GoldenEye 007 on the N64, how there was that whole cheats menu that you could go through, and, you know, it was unlocked by completing goals in the game, so it gave you uh, reasons to mess around with the game in unorthodox ways, and it rewarded you uh, with, you know, being able to mess with the game in even more unorthodox ways. Uh, same happened in, like, the Turok Dinosaur Hunter. You know, the N64 was a great era for uh, playing around with games in ways that were not necessarily intended. Uh, there was an era of, like, the developers being somewhat open with their game creations and allowing the users to just have fun with them, and not necessarily by the rules that they were uh, bound by originally when they were playing, and I think that's just uh, kind of a good thing to aspire to do as you're a game developer. I think it generally gives people a feeling of goodwill, and it encourages people to just have just fun however they want with the game, and I mean, really, isn't that the point? Not that everyone has to go out of their way to go and create a menu with all kinds of extra junk in it, it's just when it happens, it feels real good, you know? It definitely makes me want to play the game a bit more when there's, you know, opportunities to mess around. That's right, you didn't even stand a chance. <gasps> I got it, it's the Sage chest plate! Oh my goodness, I'm so happy! The last thing that I needed from the Sage set, it's finally ours. Hooray! So today, on episode, what is this, 41, we've finally accomplished one of our main goals of the series. I mean, we're still not done yet, but we've gotten two of the, like, remaining five things that we needed in the last little bit, so... Uh, we're getting there, we're real close! Alright, painting. Oh, come on. Alright, well, I guess the celebration is short-lived, but, you know, back to <laughs> Rogue legacy our way through this castle. Uh, hopefully we'll find even more equipment, and we'll be able to move on. I'm thinking by, like, episode 45, hopefully we should have it all. I think I might have been saying episode 50 before, but I don't know, it feels like things are going pretty well. Just gotta keep having some good runs. And where are we for gold? 20,000? Uh, we're a little bit behind our projection, or projected schedule, I suppose, for where we should be gold-wise. Uh, I feel like we probably should be closer to, like, 35, 40 by this point. But it also is just totally random chance, depends what we fight, where we end up, what the levels are like, uh, how risky I'm feeling, whether I run into stuff a lot or not. I mean, it all, you know, the trajectory of each run depends on 
how poor my play is at any given moment. I mean, ideally, if I have the right set of circumstances, I should be able to actually just finish every single thing there is to see in the whole castle each time I run the game. But if it was that easy to do, then I guess there wouldn't really be much game left, would there? It would just be grinding strictly. And there is still always the chance that I just have a miserably botched run, and I guess, you know, that's part of the, the risk we run here, and that's not always the worst thing in the world. Sometimes it gives us a little bit of a reminder that I still have a lot left to do in terms of getting better at this game, even though we are, like, 40 hours into it or something. I don't even know, I'm totally guessing. Yeah, probably not 40 hours, probably more like 25 or something. Well, there goes that gold. Take no damage. Uh, I could foos my way through this, I suppose. I could foos and then go... Oh, well, or I could just immediately take damage and screw that. Alright, I know these guys. I remember how to fight them. Alright, don't kill it. Go over here. And do kill this one, right? And then we're just gonna turn around and kill the other one real fast. Before he gets too upset. There we go. So, uh, it's an okay strategy. Oh my god! Oh my goodness! Oh my godness! I found the holy cape. Yet another one. I don't know why I'm back in here. I don't need to be in this room. Let's not come in here at all. I think I just saw the chest and I was like, oh my goodness, what did I forget in there? Even though I was literally just in there less than 30 seconds ago. I'm flipping out, guys. I'm losing my mind. This is all happening so fast. At this rate, I'll have all the armor by the next episode or something. What does that leave us with? Like, two more things? Three more things? I forget where we were before. I think we were at five and then we found three of those things when I had counted out five. Uh, still another room to our left. Let's head in that direction. So I guess at the end of the day, we ended up finding that sage piece in the Maya, of all things, so... Right? That was just in the Maya. I've already forgotten. My memory is like 32 seconds long, at the best. Alright, to our left again. And we've got another statue. I guess that means I can go ahead and do that Spelunker run sooner than later. Oh my goodness, look who it is. It's this DB. Greetings, adventure. I'm here to give you the chance of a lifetime. Really, measly summon 25%. Want to triple the gold? Yeah, let's do it. Alright. Which is my lucky chest today, guys? Is it Eeny, Meeny, or Miny, Mo, or Tiger Toe? Is it Tiger Toe? You think it's Tiger Toe? I'm gonna say. I don't know. I don't. Whatever I pick is probably going to be wrong. I'm going to go with the first one again. I've been picking... Oh, I was lucky! All right. Well, that's... That's some gold right there, what we just got. <laughs> we are now at 117,000 gold, so I am very happy that I went ahead and did that. So this is making this, or proving to be now our very best run of all time. Uh, totally unexpectedly. And if I can get whatever's at the top of this, we will solidify that even more. Kind of still a little hesitant about it, but... Alright, we gotta get up, stop, fall. Gotta get in this corner. Uh, I gotta inch one little... There we go. That's the spot right there. And from here, just don't hit down, we're good. And we get another max weight load increase. Awesome, I'm getting pretty good at that one, I feel. So it's all gravy at this point, 117k gold, and still increasing, I've still got uh, one third-ish of my life, so there's a chance that I could survive a bit longer, provided I don't just throw myself at the worst possible challenges. Uh, we need to head down and, well, let's just go all the way down and out of the Maya for a moment, see if we can perhaps find uh, some more action in the castle in a way that probably won't kill us instantly, I hope. The forest usually seems like a good place to go when you need to heal up. Uh, I'm not sure why I'm saying that, but I just feel like I've found the largest chance of chicken legs and such. Oh, it's this again. Being awfully generous with the chests lately, aren't you, game? I think last time I tried to do this room, I died. Or did I? Okay, that worked. And another magic damage increase. Wasn't even that big of a deal, didn't have to hype it up or anything. And one more room to the left and up. Let's head in. Spike ball definitely wanted to trick me there. I wasn't expecting that to be there. And to the right of that room. A bunch more projectiles and stuff. Not so generous with the gold now, are you? Oh, metal chest in the corner. 
Hey, chicken leg. Happy to see you. And now we're at 120,000 gold. So what is our next stupid high amount of gold uh, that we're trying to reach? I guess we might as well shoot for 200 thou, right? What's stopping us at this point? Really, just our own ambitions, right? Uh, chicken legs would be great. Nope. Don't want to give it to us. Alright, no problem. Uh, let's go... Where do we want to go? Down and down, I suppose. Might as well try to clear things. If we get to the area where the darkness is, that's only going to put us in a position to be able to... Ha oh, this is a big old room. Uh, we're just going to be in a position to teleport back out, so probably nothing to lose by going in this direction. I do want to head to the forest before I go to the darkness. I also want to get some chicken legs before I go anywhere, really. Or turkey legs. I'm not sure uh, if I'm going to find anything in this room, though. I think it is largely a dead end. Okay. Big dead end. But that happens. Alright, so what do we've got? We've got left a room to the bottom right off of the next hub room. That is a lot of doors coming off of that single room. Alright, so we'll go all the way down first. Okay, big old eyeball room for whatever reason. Any reason to come in here? Well, just another room at the bottom of it. I'm cool with it, no problem. Uh, eight directional star. Right, is that eight? I can't even count how many directions are coming out of it. Whatevs. Uh, below that, okay, here we've got a room with a guaranteed bit of bonus for us, and that is going to be our way down to the darkness. I don't want to necessarily go this way yet. And finish exploring what we've got up here. You gonna attack? No, you're not. Another magician. Imagine somebody hit you that hard that just money came out. Be an interesting magic trick. I'd like to see David Blaine do that. I'd walk up to some dude on the street and like start a fight with him and then punch him and just like gold showers the ground around him. Not sure what people would do. Would they run and try and pick up all the money or gold or whatever it is? Or would they like go try to help the guy? They would probably get to go for the money, right? Yeah, who am I kidding? Oh my goodness, two chicken legs in one room. What more could I ask for? Well, probably equipment coming out of that chest. Oh wow, and we found the boss room right after that. So we are now back at full health. Uh, and that will basically guarantee that this will be, by far, far and away the best run that we've ever had. Two adjacent boss rooms. I've never seen that before, I don't think. They don't keep any kind of, like, leaderboard for your best runs, do they? Because that seems like a bit of a shame. Uh, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to just chakra room all these suckers like that. And that should work just fine. Uh, these guys are definitely going to throw their bones at me. Sucks for them, because if they hit me, they're only going to be the ones that hurt. Well, I mean, I'll hurt a little too, but not enough that it's really going to bother me that much. Uh, down attack, down attack, perfect. Forgot, I've got that all powered up now, so there's not really a reason not to use it. Hopefully, there will be a point where I start to make uh, some serious changes in my Rogue Legacy, you know, moment-to-moment -moment gameplay, and I start to be able to actually, you know, like, physically best most of the monsters by taking advantage of their weak points or whatever the... The uh, general scheme is that you're supposed to approach them in. Uh, okay, this guy's real upset. Uh, okay, three hits is not satisfactory for me anymore. Uh, don't want to do that. Very nice, got a whole bunch more gold. We are now at 141k gold. I'm thinking if this is true that uh, the amount of gold that I'm going to walk away with from this run, it, it might end up being like enough to finish out at least one, if not both, of the remaining stat attribute trees. Uh, well, there's actually three, right? I'm not counting the uh, the super expensive Death Defy one, which I could obviously finish off with this amount of gold, but it may uh, cut into my bank enough that I might not want to. Okay, Horse Land over here. Hulk Knight. Hulk Guard, sorry. Use your proper title. Hulk Guard. Alright, you come at me, bro. There you go. Yeah, just run right into my sword. That is a lot of gold that just came out of that chest. We're almost to 150,000. Man, I thought I was joking when I said 200,000 might be a, a thing to go after, but maybe it's actually going to be possible. I mean, how much have I cleared still? There's uh, most of the Maya, right? I'm pretty sure that's going to branch out to the right quite a ways. The forest, we're only like probably a third, if that, through. Maybe a quarter, actually, and I haven't even gone to the darkness at all, although the castle is mostly finished. 
I think there's still another room to the right, although that may be forest as well. So I will do my best to try and uh, finish off the map. I always try, and then I always find out the second I put the video up, the commenter's like, Hey, you uh, missed this one really important room that's full of uh, money and would have made your run a hundred times better. No, nobody's really said that. But there was that one time when it was like, I was one gold pickup away from 100,000, and if I would have just found that room that I missed, at least that's what everybody told me, uh, would have probably given me enough to make that goal happen. But you know, we're sitting here at 150,000 now, so uh, not too worried about it, I guess. <laughs> the fire go away. I should be able to just hit it, and swiping it should cause the air to go past it and turn the fire off. I think that should be how that works. Does not. No matter. Alright, so chicken leg is where I want to be, and that means the castle should be complete. I'm going to very, very carefully look at the castle again and make sure I've absolutely explored every possible room. It does look that like that is the case. I'm not seeing any little blue doors that have not gotten uh, another blue door adjacent to it and been explored. Okay. Very nice. So let's go back up to the forest, head up from this fountain area. Little star, spike ball man, no big deal. Okay, this is going to be a long run, I have a feeling. I mean, still... Uh, where we are right now, I have most of my HP. That's fine, you just go ahead and hit me. It's really only gonna bother you. Way easier to jump over that with only one of them, evidently. And to our right. Alright, very nice. Can you imagine if they went and made a game like this that was basically just like Super Metroid? Like, straight up, just this is Super Metroid, like, the, the exact game using the exact sprites and the exact item progressions and all that. Just, you know, it's also randomly generated. Like, I would play that so many times. I would probably play it until I fall over dead. Alright, we've got Axe World. Uh, Alright, let's make sure we cheese it. No, I didn't cheese it! Well, I guess I failed. I don't think I've ever beaten this legitimately. I don't even stand a chance. Uh, what's the best course of action here? I'm not sure there's, like, any way that I could have hit enough targets. I'd like to see someone do this legit, and how their progression works. You suck, Circus Clown. I'm gonna stick Jay Smith on you. You'll be frowning after that. Alright, so, to the right. Another Hulk dude, alright. Downward stabs are definitely my friend when it comes to those guys. I wish I had learned to do that much sooner. And if I take a hit, uh, chances are I'm probably going to get rained on by gold, so I'm not too worried about traversing all of this fire action. Reach me in time, where are you? You're all the way on the right, aren't you? I'm not going to make it, am I? No, I made it. Oh, but it didn't open. I hit up on it like a whole bunch of times. Maybe uh, the timer was a little bit ahead of me there. Probably didn't need to take a hit from that dude uh, that I ran by at the beginning, the skeleton. Whatever. Uh, oh, okay, we've got another option here. Defeat all enemies, whole bunch of Hulk Knights and skeletons, evidently. Could do worse. Uh, especially in a world like this, or an area like this, where really I don't have a whole lot to worry about taking hits from, other than if I just try and attack them head-on. Dude above could be a little annoying until I can fight him from below. There we go. A couple of skeletons aren't really anything that bad. This dude is no big deal. Just, uh, slowly but surely we'll work our way through all of this. They still do hurt quite a bit. There we go. And last dude. What are we gonna find in this chest? Alright, we've got another MP increase. Must have enough MP now to do some good damage, I think. Or to, you know, between the damage and the uh, the total amount of capacity, I think we're, we're gonna be fine. And 660,000 gold? I can't believe that number's so high. I keep looking at it and being like, 16,000 gold! Well, that's clearly what that says. 140 each hit is actually enough to do some serious damage now. Alright, cool. Alright, well, you're gonna hang out below the world where I can't really bother you all that much. We're lost, all the fun times are up here. Wow, good dodging, man. I didn't even know those were coming for you, and you still dodged out of the way. Giant fireballs! Alright, I'm gonna probably foos this if I have to. No, I don't have to. Foos you! Alright, well, I didn't foos. Alright, where are we at for forest? We've got... 
nothing left. Oh no, there's one more room. Uh, I have to go quite a ways back, actually. Down, down, left. Oh, th down, down, down. Left, left, down. Oh my goodness, this is really far away. Well, still, I am obligated to go check it out. Oh, didn't need to do that. In the name of good runs, I must explore. Oh, vine up here that I missed. Um, what's... Okay, it's below me, but I gotta go left, then down, then right. And I think that should be, hopefully, a pretty short little jaunt, and then we will have finished the forest. Oh, it's the shortest jaunt possible. Uh, nothing I can do to this room, unfortunately, so... I mean, I could chakram these guys, it's not gonna help me in any meaningful way. I can't kill the dudes up in the corner. As seems to usually be the case. And now what? Now I gotta double check the forest is... Pretty much, yeah, totally complete. Kind of a short forest, actually. It seems like there's usually a little bit more branching going on. Uh, so we still got the Maya to go explore, so let's go do that. Uh, we'll hit this teleporter here on our left, which is going to take us back up. And there's a whole bunch of rooms still I haven't explored up at the top right. Oh, wow. Thanks. Thanks for that. Psst. Come into a room, immediately get hit. Kind of hoping that I can find some chicken legs pretty soon. Um, I am seeing my health starting to diminish uh, faster than it seems to be growing. I like to keep it topped off if possible, but you know, you can't make any guarantees in this rough and tumble hostile world. Or castle, I mean, it's castle world. It's down, oh, well, I want to downstrike this guy a bunch. Homing missiles are not good. I don't like homing missiles. Can we not do that, please? Uh, Alright, I'll take that. Any more? Oh, I think that's about it for them. Okay, chicken leg. Happy to see you. A couple of paintings. Of course you're gonna shoot projectiles at me. You always do. And you're just gonna drop your money in the middle of the floor. Thank you for that. Please, oh please, patch in some sort of a magnetized gold function. I would really like that. Even if it's just a spell that only some characters can use, the ability to pull gold out of the floor would be very, very valuable, especially because I've had people say in the comments uh, they've actually killed a boss and had the boss be off the screen at the time. You know, whether it be through uh, projectiles, retaliation rooms, I'm sure there's plenty of options of how that could become a factor, uh, but it would be very nice to not have to worry about potentially losing a big old pile of gold because those enemies are not bound by the laws of physics and can hang out uh, outside of places we can reach. So, uh, Cellar Door Games, if you're listening, it's my plea to you for now. Uh, Alright, let's get more gold. We are almost all the way to 200,000 gold. I don't I don't even know what I'm going to do. So much gold. Another big old magician in here. He died awfully fast. Uh, this is going to wrap around, but what's up with this room below us here? Looks like a tiny little square room. Oh, no. Maybe not so tiny, actually. Uh, let's use some shock rooms. I should have probably used it on both sides there. Get this painting out of the way, as well as the dude on the right, or the left, rather. I've noticed in a lot of my videos, for some reason, whenever I need to say left and right, I say them backwards, and I have never had that problem in my life. I have always known my left from my right. For some reason, when I start talking about it in videos, it becomes an issue for me. I don't know what at all to say about that. Um, I'm not dyslexic, I don't <laughs> I don't confuse things that much when it comes to that, but whatever. Just a weird quirk, I guess. Providing running commentary definitely does strange things to your brain. It's uh, definitely worth trying if you've never done it. Oh, excuse me. It's uh, definitely an acquired talent and it takes quite a while to get better at it. I still have quite a ways to go at it myself as evidenced by my sometimes very inane ramblings that oftentimes will terminate in nothing, like no useful information whatsoever. Uh, some people like it, some people don't, I guess. It's uh, all up to personal preference. And partially it's just me, but I think I also could still do better. Alright, I'm probably gonna end up dying pretty soon. It's a little bit of a shame that I might not make it to my goal. Uh, but there's... oh my god, you serious? You came up here to come hit me. One hit away from death again. Um... Well, I wanted to explore the whole thing. Maybe that's not going to be possible. Oh, wow. Alright, well, I guess I'll just fly into that plant then. Flowermon. I 
thought it said Flower Moon. Alright, might as well spend all that money. Upside Down, Paladin, Assassin, or another Barbarian. I just want to finish this out, and then we'll really mix things up more. Uh, did I, I got a couple of pieces of equipment, so let's go take care of that. Finally, 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 finally got that. So we now have the entire gold set. Uh, that means I can keep a lookout for a Spelunker. And then perhaps we can start that kind of a run. Uh, should I just buy all these? Might as well. Just get all the equipment right. Just get it out of the way. We're just going to have to pay for it again later if we don't. And that helmet. You know, that wasn't even all that expensive for how much I just bought. So now I've still got 169000 which I'm going to spend exclusively on this stuff. I guess I'll just finish out Death Defy, right? I mean, three, two, one, done. All right. I was like one off there when I was counting, but whatever. And 100,000 more that I can put into all of these stats. Not going to quite be able to finish off that one, but what are you going to do? Alright, so now it leaves me with 6,000 spare gold and two things. Man, there's still 15 more to do on that and most of that one. They're way more expensive than I gave them credit for. Uh, but my mana capacity should be bristlingly large. So now I've just got runes. I can just start... I don't know, buying off all the runes, I suppose. What uh, what way do I want to start accomplishing this task? I guess I could buy a Retaliation Rune. Do one of those for everything. I know that was a run I wanted to eventually do. Uh, oh, right, I don't have enough to do that. And now that I've bought all the armor and equipment, I don't really have a lot left to spend money on, so I guess I'm just going to have to start sacrificing some of it as I go in. I wish there was more equipment. It seems like I've bought all this stuff so fast. Should be like another page of tiers or something. Who knows? Or maybe get like a customizable set at the end that like you could change the colors or like buy I don't know, sockets or something. Maybe you could find like cracked skulls and I don't know. Now I'm just rambling. Uh, anyway, if that is going to do it for another episode, I'd say a fairly successful one at that. Hope you enjoyed it, and I hope uh, you will continue to enjoy the series as we are just about to finish up our main goals. I forgot to look when I was in the armor screen. What do we have left now? It's like one, two, two things. Two things left to find, and the entire equipment set will be totally complete. Uh, and then we'll just keep spending on uh, runes, and we'll keep spending on uh, all the stuff that's left in the attribute screen, which is really just two things. So, you know, very little left to do. So leave your support if you can. I always appreciate it. Likes and comments are all wonderful. Uh, if you think I deserve them, of course, and let me know what you think of this run in particular. Uh, nearly 200,000 gold, which is, is up the bar by a huge amount. So, you know, let me know if you've achieved a run like this. Let me know about your best run. I am curious to hear it. And I will see you very soon. So I hope you have a lovely night, and thank you so much for watching. Later!